Welcome Minor or Matter Strength and Condition. My name is Oscar and I'll be your host. For previous videos and more progressions, please visit the channel. Before we begin, I first want to get started with an overview of knee bursitis. Now, a bursa is a sac that is filled with fluid, synovial fluid, and you have many different types of these bursal sacs. Five on the front, four on the lateral, and you have five on the medial side of your knee. Now, the bursa allows movement of the kneecap. The kneecap slides freely under the skin and performs knee flexion and knee extension. Uh, for example, when you walk. Now, bursitis of the knee is an inflammation of the bursa, usually over the knee. Now, there's four different types. Now, the common causes of bursitis of the knee are injuries, knee injuries, overuse of the knee. Overuse of the knee can be caused by kneeling too long. So, if you have a job that requires you to kneel too long, you can develop knee bursitis. A common treatment of knee bursitis is surgery if it's severe enough, but icing for 10 to 15 minutes helps decrease the swelling. And physical therapy program of exercise and stretches will help not only ameliorate the pain, but help you recover from knee bursitis. Uh, so stretching, exercising, and performing pain-free movements increase the production of blood and synovial fluid. Now synovial fluid is very important because it provides lubrication and the articular joint which helps reduce friction between bone to bone contact. It also helps uh, absorb shock so prevents bones from rubbing against each other doing movements such as walking or running and most importantly it provides nutrients to damaged tissue and removes the tissue waste byproduct that can develop as a result of an injury so you want to develop more produce more synovial fluid. You can think of synovial fluid like uh, oil in the machine. Oil helps spread friction it helps machines last longer and keeps them going strong. Now, snowy food also helps decrease inflammation and prevent pain. If you suffer from knee bursitis, the next knee exercise can help ameliorate the pain and decrease inflammation at the knee. Start in a seated position, making sure that your hips are back on the seat and you can lock your knee and slowly lift the leg up and hold it for one to two seconds. Now make sure to point your toe towards you and slowly bring the leg back down and repeat 10 to 12 times. Now lift the leg up so that it's parallel to the opposite leg and make sure that you're working the right muscle groups. You're going to start with 10 to 12 repetitions on each leg and this exercise really concentrates on working your quadricep muscle group but specifically the rectus femoris. So there's four muscles but you're isolating the rectus femoris. This exercise is beneficial for many people who have knee problems from knee pain to sore knees and many others in between because it helps strengthen the muscles that support the knee which is crucial for anyone who performs activity that requires you to place most of your body weight in one leg. For example walking, running, going up and down stairs all require you to put a lot of weight on one leg. So you begin with two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions with one to two second hold and gradually progress to three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions with one two second hold. 